Good afternoon, financial professionals. My name is Jennifer Nadu, case design specialist here at E4 Insurance Services, welcoming you to The Brew, building relationships every week. I hope everyone had a lovely holiday last week. Thank you for tuning in today. For those of you joining The Brew for the first time, we like to start The Brewcast by celebrating what today's national day is. And today is, it's National Mississippi Day. It is also National Mason Jar Day. I was just saying that the next one, I think this is my favorite of all of the uh, national days that we've talked about recently. It is National Personal Space Day although my dogs probably have no awareness of that. And today is also, I believe, yes, it's the last day of November. Uh, November is Long-Term Care Awareness Month, so this is the very last day of that. On today's brew, we welcome National Western Life's training manager, Jay Spence. Jay will discuss competitive solutions that advisors are successfully using to help clients in these turbulent economic environments right now, and will also review case studies that have proven success. Uh, before we get started, I would like to remind everyone to use your chat box and feel free to ask questions throughout our time today. And the session will be available on the Brew blog. We will also have a drawing at the end of the call, and the winner will be announced then. Jay, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, it's great to be here, and thank you for inviting me to join, uh, which is my first Brew call. So Awesome. Uh, well, yeah, we're very... You. You're welcome. We're very, very happy to have you. Um, you're going to talk competitive solutions during these again, turbulent times, which is probably putting it mildly. Um, let's talk annuities today, though, something we haven't talked about on the brew in a while. And uh, over the weekend, as I was thinking about this call and, and just thinking about things in general, I read an article um, that, that referred to turbulent economic environments. They actually called it in this ar uh, article, ugly environments. <laughs> Um, but what it is doing is it is pushing record annuity sales. And there was a study done by LIMRA. And this study said that consumers are on pace to purchase $30 billion in annuities this year. And that is a new record. Um, so let's just start out with any comments on the overall environment as it relates to annuities. Well, we've, um, <clears throat> I've been in the business over 25 years myself. I've never seen anything like this. Many of the advisors on the call probably have not. Um, it's an interesting time with um, what we've seen with interest rates, stock market turmoil, uh, inflation, unprecedented inflation, supply chain issues across the country and of course across the world. So a lot of consumers have lost a lot of equity. Um, they have turned to safe money solutions um, in record numbers that you've just mentioned. And um, uh, it's our job in this industry to help advisors find ways to meet the ongoing concerns of their client base. And I think we've got uh, some, some solutions here at National Western Life that I wanna talk about today that may not be fully realized. And I may, mm -hmm. I may come up with something that somebody may go, oh, that's a great idea. I, I need to I need to, to to look into that. So that's that's kind of what I would like to do today. And what a perfect segue because I know one of the topics that you wanted to discuss today was to think about National Western as having a MIGA alternative. And people may not think of you uh, or your company mm -hmm. in that realm. So can you please expand on that or explain about that? Yeah, so um, we do not offer a true MIGA at National Western Life. That's not in our, our realm of what we, what we do. We are a fixed indexed annuity carrier first and foremost. And so what we have are shorter term FIA products that can be used as a MIGA alternative. And in my uh, presentation today, I'll do a short 
uh, explanation of that. And I've got a couple visuals, not going to overdo it with visuals with you, mm -hmm. but I want a couple things to show you. So you have that in your mind, you can take away, well, what is, what is he talking about? What does he mean? Um, and uh, hopefully the, the story will resonate and you'll go, oh, this is a great idea for this client or that client or, oh yeah, I can market this going forward. So that, that's what I would like to, uh, to do today. Okay, wonderful. Um, well, why don't you go ahead and, and talk about that and, and bring up any visuals that you'd like to now as to sure. uh, where we would position this or just more information on what you're, what you're getting to here. Sure. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen here. I have, um, let's see here. I've got a highlight sheet of the product, just so you all know what we're talking about. So National Western Life, we have a product we're using for this MIGA alternative uh, concept. It's uh, the NWL Choice Optimizer five-year term. Uh, just FYI, we also have a seven-year version of this as well. But per, for today's topic, we're going to talk about the five-year. I know that a lot of clients want a shorter term annuity, especially when um, they're looking at market instability. They want something that maybe they, they don't wanna be in quote unquote money jail forever. In other words, they don't wanna be in maybe a 10 year product. They want something shorter than that, that has some potential upside, but yet they don't wanna be in it potentially long-term because if the market rebounds, maybe they wanna move and pivot out of an annuity back into the market or back into something else. So this is a, a, a solution that we've created to help with that potential problem. And it, for some, it's, it's a problem. They want that upside potential, they want that protection, but what can you get me that's not a MIGA? Because MIGAs have that fixed rate and with inflation as it's been going and the interest rate environment as it's been going, in our view, there's never been a better time to get into a fixed indexed annuity than today. OK, the market is really hit rock bottom. This is the time to go in. But some people are hesitant. They're like, well, I'd like to go in, but yet can I phase into it? Hence the MIGA alternative solution. So this is what we're this is what we're going to propose here as an option. So with our five year product here, we can take this all the way up through age 85 with a minimum premium of twenty five thousand. National Western has a large appetite. We actually can take premiums in, in excess of 1.5 million, I can take three, four and $5 million. If, if you have a client that wants to look at one of those type of uh, uh, premium limits. We're using S&P 500 strategies on here. Most everybody knows the S&P 500. Your most conservative clients know it to your most aggressive clients know the S&P 500. So there's no real bespoke or un- proven indices within this product. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so um, I wanted just to set up what we've got here as far as the product goes. It's very straightforward. There's no income riders. This is an accumulation play. And this is kind of my idea going forward here for you. So what I want to do is I want to show you this. Um, I want to show you what our rates are that we're looking at today. So for my idea here, I'm going to show you blending strategies. Okay, if a MIGA has a fixed interest rate of 5%, for example, well, our product has a first year rate of 4.3 in the fixed bucket, and our annual point-to-point -point s and 500 cap right now is 11.30%. So what I'm proposing here is for you, to, for you and your clients to take a look at blending these strategies. If they want the idea of a fixed interest as part of their return, great. You can blend it with our product. Give them the 4.3% interest and then blend it with one of the other S&P strategies. I'm just picking on the annual point to point here at 11.3. That's our current uh, cap rate on that strategy. Most advisors know an S&P annual point to point strategy. On a five-year product, this is extremely, extremely competitive. So what we're going to do here, having, and by the way, you will see that we do have a seven-year rate as well. So if a client's looking to go a little bit further than five years, we have this version in the seven-year. 
but trying to keep it more in the MIGA space, I'm choosing the five-year here. But let's take a look here at what a potential um, illustration would look like. All right, so I've told you that a lot of clients want upside potential. They want safety from the market. They like the idea of a MIGA because they know what they're gonna buy the day that they sign the dotted line. But remember, we still have inflation factors creeping in there. We still have volatility. There's no upside potential in a MIGA. They know what it is the day that they sign on the dotted line. So what do you do about that? Well, you combine, you give them the best of both worlds. So let me, let me fly through here. I'm doing a 60 year old using $100,000 of non-qualified money on our example here, okay? Now, what I'm trying to show you here is uh, an idea. So if you look here, I put 50% of the allocation in that S&P annual point to point. I've put 50% of the allocation in that fixed interest bucket, okay? Now, there's no right or wrong on this strategy. You can do it in any combination of, the, of these that you want. You can put 25% in the cap, 25% in something else. As long as we have 100% allocation, you can do anything you want here, okay? But we're just, I'm just showing you an idea. So let's take a look here. Here we have, again, our 11.3 cap. We've got our fixed rate at 4.3. Well, let's take a look at how that shakes out in the wash here. So let me go down here. Bear with me here. Okay, here we go. Here's what our credit would be in a potential situation here using the fixed interest and, of course, the S&P cap. So you can see here, based on the most recent look back here, this is what we could do for a client in this hypothetical example. The point, the moral of the story here is we can potentially outperform MIGA rates on a similar duration product. So best interest is in play here because the client has upside potential. And as an advisor, you can potentially make more commission because we all know MIGA commissions tend to be on the low side. So it's a win-win for the client. It's a win-win for the advisor. So let's take a look here further. Let me go down one more here. Look at what the 11.3% cap would have done on just the S&P. This does not include the fixed. So it's still very, very, um, we think, not pie in the sky. We've got most recent at 11, or excuse me, at 8.7. We've got the worst at 5.96. Even the worst on just this has a, a better potential than a MIGA out there. So that's the moral of the story. And remember, this is S&P. These are not bespoke indices here. This is an S&P story. So keep that in mind. Um, National Western has a product that we think can do better than a MIGA over time and pay you better as the agent. Wonderful, thank you for that. Um, very, very interesting. You're definitely sparking some conversation in the chat here as well. Um, you know, you, you mentioned money jail. <laughs> clients don't like to be in that. Advisors don't like to have their clients in that. So this is definitely very interesting. Um, I am going to open it up for questions in just a second, but before we do that, I'm going to ask you two things. If you have any parting comments for us before we open it up for questions, but um, what you had showed before um, definitely was one of the top rates. And um, can you just bring up your slide with the other yeah. rates again while you're talking? Yeah, let's do that here. Uh, bear with me here. Here we are. There's the rates. Okay. Wonderful. Make Thank sure you. Go on the rates here. Oops. Let me yeah. undo that. There you go. All right. Thank you. So, any parting words before we? We're certainly not wrapping it up yet. But any parting words before we we open it up for questions? Yes. Yeah, so um, we we do have this on an eApp platform. Um, we do have the capacity for large quantities of business. Remember, also, I wanted to make this very clear. Remember, on MIGAs. We still have an inflation problem. I, although things have stabilized somewhat, we still have inflation. So if they're, if they're locked into a fixed interest rate, remember that's gonna be eaten away at inflation. So the only combating 
I guess, combating thing we have against that would be the upside potential for any indexing. And we think that the market is kind of at the bottom right now. So again, there's no better time to get into a fixed index annuity product, in my opinion, than right now. So there's my comment. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for that. Uh, I'd like to just remind everyone to use the chat box uh, or you can unmute your line if you have any questions. And while we're waiting to see if there's any final questions, I'd like to remind you that today's brew and our full library are recorded and shared on the brew blog on our website at www.e4.insurance. And let's do our giveaway now too. Jay, if you would do the honors and pick a number between one and 15. One and 15, I'll tell you what, let's go, let's go 11. Lucky number 11. Okay. Oh, Krista. The winner in today is Krista. Congratulations. Be on the lookout for a complimentary CE voucher and Starbucks gift card that will be, will be coming your way from all of us here at E4 Insurance Services. So congratulations. I am going to hop into the chat box right now. And uh, if you could just Give me a moment to collect what we've got going on here. Um, I'm just going to start reading them, but advisors often worry about what those high caps and pars will renew at in the following years. What is your minimum renewal rate on these? And do you have a marketing piece to show what National Western has done at renewals with this product? Yeah, so we've we've rebranded our company in two. Uh, 2021, we went to a whole different philosophy on product design, uh, how we approach renewals. Renewals are going to be consistent across the board because um, what we do is we have a levelized option budget for our renewal for our our, uh, our indexing options, meaning that we have the same amount of money in all the years of our products. So all the new products developed will have the same amount of money to buy our options. For instance, the annual point to point. Uh, right now is at 11.30. We have the same amount of money to buy that today that we would have to buy whatever that option is next year and the third year, the fourth year and the fifth year, so on and so forth. The only thing, of course, we cannot control is the price of that option. But on our control, what we've done is we've wanted to levelize that budget. Therefore, it will keep our renewals as consistent as possible. So that's what we've done to combat uh, that particular um, I guess, uh, uh, challenge that we've had in the past and other carriers have had in the past. Excellent, thank you for that. And um, uh, the other question we have, and I, I, I believe you just answered it, is what happens at the end of the, the five years. Um, do you anticipate the trigger rate going up anytime soon? Um, we just raised the trigger rate on this. These are actually our brand new rates. However, we are um, going to be looking at rates. We, we look at rates every other week now. We, we have to. That's kind of yeah. where the industry is. Yeah. And we will reevaluate that um, as we go forward. I do know that the trigger is really popular right now because it's a binary option, meaning that as long as it hits zero or to the right of zero, it pays. The, the trigger pays what it pays. So that is another way that you could use this as a MIGA alternative. Remember what I said earlier, there's no right or wrong how you mix and match and blend these strategies. Uh, we just use the fixed interest as that, of course, is what is involved in a MIGA. There's a fixed interest there. Excellent. Uh, next question are, is, what are liquidity provisions? So we offer uh, on this particular product, there is a 5% uh, penalty-free withdrawal option beginning in the second year of the contract, but all of our contracts at National Western Life are RMD friendly in the first year. So whatever the full RMD amount, we are RMD. They can also take systematic interest um, from uh, the account as well. Um, that can happen during the first year, as long as it's in the fixed interest bucket, they can take systematic interest. Okay. And I just want to go back to the other question to make sure that you answered it fully. Um, I, I, you were answering another question and I heard you talking about renewals, but mm -hmm. what happens at the end of the five years? Did you answer that when you were discussing renewals or was there anything else that you needed to add there? 
So at the end of the, the renewal period, the client can choose to stay in the product uh, if they want. Uh, we, we anticipate the, the, the uh, option budget to stay the same there, but of course that they're, they're no longer required to be in the product as it is a five-year duration product. Excellent, thank you very much. And I do not see any other questions right now in the chat box. Jay, thank you so much again. As you can see, you triggered some great conversation and uh, we may be thinking about you in a different light now. So we appreciate you coming on and talking about that today. No, thank you very, very much for having me. Wonderful. Tune in next Wednesday as we welcome E4 Insurance Services' very own wealth strategist, Bill Anderson. Bill, we, Bill will be sharing with attendees the benefits of helping your clients with repurposed life insurance contract transactions. So we look forward to having Bill on again next week. We'll see all of you again next week on The Brew. Thank you for joining and have a terrific week. See you next week. Mm -hmm.